I bet on losing dogs by Mitski. This song is easy. It's going to be fun. Guys, I'm going to stay in a good mood. You're going to stay in a good mood. We're just going to learn a song. It's going to be very straightforward and simple. And we're going to... Who put my coffee cup up here? I'm going to tell you something, but I don't want you to panic. We have to change our tuning ever so slightly. It's just drop D. It's like the easiest alternate tuning there is. All you have to do is tune your top string down one full step to D. So it sounds like this. Everything else is just standard tuning. So it's D, A, D, G, B, E. Okay, we're great, we're good. We're gonna start off by learning the introduction to the song. You just play six on the top string, and just to be on the safe side, I also want you to play six on the second string from the top. So the way I do it is I just have my pointer finger smash down on the sixth fret of the top two strings. It's not like a real bar chord. I'm not smashing down on all six strings. I'm just I'm just making sure to play those top two. The, the guitarist who plays with Mitski, I think uses his middle finger on the top string and ring finger on the second string from the top. That's great. I mean, that's, he's a pro. He knows what he's doing. I just like to use my pointer finger, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Smashing the pointer finger down on the sixth fret of the top two strings and just strum down on this little chord eight times. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the intro. Notice I didn't hit all six strings. That would sound bad. I'm only playing the top two. For the intro, you kind of actually only want to play the very top string. So, But if you hit two strings, it's, it's fine. So it's just kind of like... Great, and that's the intro. Easy, piece of pie. Then we move on to the verse where the singing starts. We're going to start on that same chord, that smashing down on six of the top two strings. You're going to play it four times. Then you're going to move up to seven, play that four times. Then move up to nine on the top two strings, play that four times, then go down to four and play that four times. So the intro was six, 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 six. Then we went six, 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 seven, 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 nine, 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 four, 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 four. Let's try that. Let's do it together from the intro. One, two, here we go. And a one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the verse. One, two. Seven, nine, four. Great. For every single note slash chord in this song, we're just going to smash down on the top two strings and we're going to play it four times, strumming down, 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 down for the whole entire song. So now I'm just going to basically tell you the numbers for each position for each part of the song and then we're going to practice it. It's going to be really fun. So the intro we already said was six, six. Great, fantastic, amazing. Then for the verse, we go six, seven, nine, four. And then we're gonna go seven, two, nine, four. Memorizing it is part of the challenge. Six, seven, nine, four. Seven, two, nine, four. One, to start from the verse in six, seven, nine, four, seven, two, nine, four. Great. Okay. Then we're going to play seven, then seven again, and then nine and four. Okay, seven, seven, nine, four, great. And then we go seven, two, nine, four again. That was the verse. Six, seven, nine, four, seven, two, nine, four, seven, seven, nine, four, seven, two, nine, four. Guys, let's play the whole verse. Here we go. Six, seven, nine, four, seven, two, nine, four, seven, seven, 
the verse moving on to the chorus the chorus is much easier to memorize you guys the chorus goes like this two seven nine four so it starts off two seven nine four it starts on two you got to remember it starts on two two seven nine four and then after that we play seven two nine four four times in a row so that was two seven nine four, and then seven two nine four seven two nine four seven two nine four seven two nine four. Let's play the whole chorus all the way through, starting with what number? That's right, two. Dos. That's Spanish for two. I'm surprised you didn't know that. One, two. Here we go, karate chop. I bet on losing dogs. Oh, seven. Then we get to the interlude of the song. The interlude, there's no singing here. It's like where the keyboard solo is and stuff. It goes like this. Seven, seven, nine, two. Okay. Then two, nine, two, two. Seven, seven, nine, two, 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 nine, two. Let's play that much of it. Two, three, four. Oh. Then stay on seven, nine, Two, two, nine, two, two. All right, now this last part, this next part sounds weird, but trust me, it is correct. We're going to go eight, seven, seven, six. Eight, seven, seven, six. Okay. Then we're going to go four, two, nine, Two, eight, seven, seven, six, four, two, nine, two. Let's play it. Here we go. That was way too slow. I don't know. What I'm We're gonna go. Bah, 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 bah. Here we go, guys. Eight, seven, seven, six. All right, one more little part. Then we're gonna go two, nine, two, two, ten. Two, nine, two, two, ten. Okay, let's see if we can play through the whole interlude. I know, I know, I forget the numbers too. I'm cheating though, I have them, I have them written down right there. I'm just a cheater. I'm a no good, low down, dirty, rotten cheater. One, two, interlude, start with seven. Ah, and then nine, two, two, nine, two. Here's the weird part up to eight, eight, seven. Stay there, seven, six, then go four, two, nine. doing great now we make it to the key change the key change is the easiest part of the song you play three on the top string zzz, top two strings and you're just gonna play this 16 times in a row just don't count to 16 count to four four times if you go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you get mixed up. I mean, I did it on purpose there to show how easy it is to get mixed up. But what you want to do is one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Then 
We go to the ending of the song, which is also just the chorus to the song, but it's not exactly the same as the first time we did the chorus because we've gone through this key change. A key change just means the whole like main note or the whole main chord, the whole main scale for the song shifts into a different scale. So we're gonna play the chorus, but all the notes are gonna be moved over one fret. So the first time we played the chorus, what we played was two, seven, nine, four, but we wanna move one fret over. So it's gonna end up being, this time it's gonna be three, eight, 10, five. Let's try three, eight, 10, five. One, two, here we go. Three, eight, 10, five. So the beginning of the chorus, three, eight, 10, five. Then guys, I have great news for you. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna play eight, three, 10, five, like 10 times in a row, and then the song ends. Eight, three, 10, five, and we end by playing that five. Let's try it. Let's not do it 10 times in a row. Let's do it three times in a row. Eight, three, I just burped a little bit. 10, five, eight, three, 10, five. One, two, here I go. Eight, three. So are we gonna play through the whole thing? I think we should, because just keeping track of everything is tough. I'm gonna yell out a bunch of numbers. I always get depressed when I teach Mitski songs. Not, I mean, the songs are depressing, but also it's just like, she has such a unique way of, of writing music that it's like, things take just little turns you're not expecting, and right when you think it's just gonna repeat a pattern, it does it a little bit differently, so I just, I just I just lose all sense of space and time when I'm teaching Mitski songs, and I would like to thank you for joining me on this day. Let's play it all the way through from the intro. One, two, sixth fret. Here you go. Six. Then the singing starts. Six, seven, nine, four, seven.
play I Bet I'm Losing Dogs. I should. I kind of want to learn what this song is about. I'm not good at knowing what songs are about, but I feel like I feel like she probably has a good reason for betting on losing dogs because from a financial perspective, it is not a good move. I feel like from an emotional perspective, I don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go check out the lyrics to this song. I bet on losing dogs by Mitski from her hit album Puberty Two. I think that's what it's called, right? If I made that up, that's weird. Why would I make up that as a name for an album? It's called that. I know it. Does she have a Puberty One, or does she mean it's like the sequel to Puberty? Is that album? I don't understand. I don't understand music. Mm -hmm. 